Welcome back everyone to the RPA Bot Builders YouTube channel. On this channel, we show you tips, tricks, and tutorials on how to build your own RPA bots with Automation Anywhere's A2019 software. Today, I'm gonna to go over automating a process within SAP. SAP is a widely used software platform that is typically used for enterprise resource planning and data management. The software enables businesses to track customer interactions such as orders and invoices. So as you might expect, processes involving SAP can quite often be good candidates for automation as they have a number of rules-based repetitive steps involved. Fortunately, in A2019, we have a couple great options for automation in SAP. The Unified Recorder will record actions in sequence, the same way you'd record multiple steps with interacting with a web page. The second option is to use the built-in SAP package, as shown on the right here. I'm going to briefly cover both of these to introduce each method. So for a simple demonstration, we're going to perform a simple process of just logging into SAP and then opening up a sales order for viewing, backing out of that sales order, and closing the application. Application. Here in the A2019 environment, I've already created a bot with a few simple steps. The first step is just to open the SAP application. This brings up the first page here, the easy logon with the logon button. I have a manual delay just to give that page time to load, and then I click on the logon button as shown here in the preview. From here, the SAP environment window will open up, exposing the user field and password and other buttons here to interact with SAP. At this point, this is where I want to start my recorder to record my interactions with these fields. So I'm going to hit my recorder and I'll select the correct window, start recording, and you can see our recorder picks up the individual object fields within SAP. So just like I would with a web page, I'm going to slowly click through the, the application here and enter the information I need to my username and password and I'm logged in and now I'm going to click into the search field and enter the T code to bring up my uh, order interface. I'll click to search for a specific order just slowly clicking through to make sure that I pick up the objects appropriately. So I've opened up this order at this point just for demonstration purposes I'm not going to interact with it any further. Now we'll back out. I'll hit the back button two times and we'll stop recording. So at this point, this bot is already ready to run. I'm just gonna go ahead and close my SAP windows and I'll log off. We'll see the, the bot run from beginning to end, opening up SAP, logging in and clicking through just as I just told it to do. So we'll click run. So our bot opens up SAP. It's finding the individual fields and clicking on the buttons, clicking through these screens and it pulls up our order just as we told it. That executed pretty quickly, but you can see that with the unified recorder, we were able to put together a simple bot to automate SAP in just about two minutes. So taking a look at this bot that we just created, it's a series of recorder actions. And as we click through, we can take a look at what we're capturing with the recorder when we use it within SAP. So let's take a look at this one, for example. This is where we input our username on the first window. And we can see the recorder is capturing object properties to understand where to set the text. We, we tell it what to do here with the action window. So we're setting text and we're telling it what text to enter into the specific form field. So we can see a few other actions down here where we're clicking on certain buttons and continuing to click on other buttons as we navigate through the field or setting the text in our search term here for the VA03T code. I mentioned earlier that there are two primary methods for automating within SAP, with the second being to use the SAP package. So over on the left, we can already see I've searched for these SAP actions. And each one of these actions has a particular purpose for automating within SAP. So let's say I wanted to next open up the order entry screen within SAP. Our last bot left us off with this screen available to us. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a set text because I'll need to set the text in the search field to VA01. Each one of these SAP actions asks for a field path input that looks like this. Now you might be wondering, what would the field path input be? You know, where can I find it? We can find the field path inputs by leveraging the scripting capability within SAP. You'll need to have scripting enabled within your SAP environment, however, to make this work. You can check that in your options. In order to find the field path, we first need to create a, a little script within the environment that'll expose that path. So I'll click script recording and playback, and I've already got a location here with a script name that I want to track this with. 
I'm gonna hit record just like before with the recorder within A2019, I'm just gonna click through slowly the different fields that I wanna operate on. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just gonna click this one field and I'll select VA03 and then select this green button. I'll stop my script recording and I can bring this script up in Notepad and most of this stuff at the top here is not very important. What we're looking for is where we input that text, VA03. We can find it down here at the bottom, and what we need is this over here. Within the parentheses inside the quotation marks is our field path. So what I would do is take this field path, simply copy and paste it over here, type in the text I want to write to VA03, hit apply, save. So now my set text action is complete. It's ready to be used. Before I can run this and test this functionality, I need to make sure that I use the connect and disconnect functions or actions over here to connect to the SAP session. So I'll go ahead and drag the connect in beforehand, the disconnect afterward, and that allows me to connect, create a session name default, and our set text will use that same session name. Finally, to help with the demonstration, I'm going to activate a window. Just activate my SAP window to ensure that it comes up when we start this automation. I'll look for the window and next I'm going to input some manual delays just to slow it down so that we can see the automation working properly. And now we're ready to test that our set text will work properly. All we're trying to do is see if the VA01 text shows up in this field. I'll minimize that, come back to my bot. I'll then click run from here to tell my bot to run from this step. So the bot has pulled up the SAP page, it's connected to it, and we successfully inputted the text to your VA03. Our bot has run successfully. So with that, even though I only demonstrated a single action of setting text in SAP, any other action would be really similar to set up, involving finding that field path and then selecting the action you need, whether it be a click, getting or setting text, or selecting radio buttons. I hope you liked the video in seeing two different ways to automate within SAP, the recorder to record your sequence of steps, and then using the SAP action list. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming in the next few weeks. Thanks and see you next time.